Cardiovascular training, or cardio as it is often referred to in the industry, is continuous exercises that use large muscle groups, elevate the heart rate, and increases the need for oxygen. Not only is this type of training great for making the body efficient and fit, it also promotes numerous health benefits such as maintaining a healthy body composition, improving heart health, and helping to reduce the risk of lifestyle diseases such as diabetes. Activities like running, jogging, walking, group fitness classes, skipping, cycling or swimming are all used to train the cardiovascular system. However, it is important to prescribe only the ones that are appropriate to your client. Some of these activities are high impact, like running and skipping, meaning that the two feet are off the ground at once, which creates a lot of impact on landing. The low impact options like walking, swimming and low impact aerobics are more suitable for those clients that are not conditioned yet to perform impact activities. It is recommended that when prescribing aerobic activity purely for health benefits and not fitness, a client must do a minimum of 100 minutes per week at a low intensity. This can be broken down into workable sessions that suit the client. For example, it does not matter whether the client does 3 times 33 minute sessions, 5 times 20 minute sessions, or 10 times 10 minute sessions. Either way, they will all produce the same health benefits. If the goal is to increase fitness, then the intensity of the sessions must be increased. Here we can use two different types of training. If the work is continuous and the heart rate stays the same throughout the duration of the session, then the aerobic fitness will be promoted. If the work changes between periods of hard efforts, with recovery efforts in between, and the intensity of the work effort is really high, then anaerobic fitness will be promoted. No matter what the focus of the program is, it is important that when designing the session, it is structured in the following way using the four sequential phases. The session always contains a preparation phase, and this is known as the warm-up, a conditioning phase, which is the actual workout, the recovery phase, which is the cool-down period, and finally the adaptation phase, which is the recovery time between the sessions. Whenever you are taking a client through a session, it is important to monitor their intensity. This ensures not only client safety, but also that the client is meeting the intensity needed to ensure the results. There are multiple ways to measure intensity during a session, and it is important to use a combination of a few in order to correctly gauge the client. The PRE, or Perceived Rating of Effort Scale, is a 0 to 10 scale that determines the client's effort from a rating of nothing to maximum. It is important that you explain the parameters of the scale to the client before they start exercising so they know what they are comparing to. For example, 0 feels like when you're sitting down and there's no effort, whereas 10 is extremely hard and you want to stop immediately, whereas 5 feels like you're working hard, you're breathing heavy, but it's still achievable. You need to ask your client where they feel on their scale whilst they're actually exercising. Based on the client's answer, you are able to adjust the intensity to make it either harder or easier. The talk test is another easy way to monitor intensity. If they can't talk to you because they are breathing too hard and fast, then it's fair to say that the intensity is high. Same thing can be said when the client experiences the burn. The burn is indicative of a buildup of waste products in their muscles, which feels like a burning sensation. Since waste products are normally produced in an anaerobic environment, then again it is fair to assume that they are working very hard. If your client also looks visually spent, in other words they are unusually red, wobbly on their feet, or feeling nauseous, then again they are working at high intensities. Obviously these tools are fairly subjective and rely on the client's awareness of their body and your ability to assess someone. A more accurate way of monitoring somebody's intensity is to use a percentage of their predicted maximum heart rate. A client can wear a heart rate monitor or it can be taken using the palpation technique. In order to predict a client's maximum heart rate, you use the formula of the number 220 minus their age. This gives them their theoretical maximum, and from there you can work out their target heart rate zones. This is done by multiplying the maximum heart rate by the required percentage. 
let's work out an example of a high intensity session. According to Sports Medicine Australia, a high intensity session is around 90% of their maximum heart rate and equates to about a 7 on the PRE scale. So if you wanted to train a 20 year old fit client at 90% of their maximum heart rate, then the target heart rate for them would be around 180 beats per minute. Setting appropriate target heart rate zones ensure that your client will be training efficiently and effectively.